Hello guys, my name is Anna and I vlog daily from Ukraine since the start of brutal Russian invasion. So if you want to know more about real life in my country during these challenging times and you support Ukraine, please subscribe. This is the easiest way to demonstrate your solidarity and to spread information about Russian war crimes and Ukrainian victories. And today I want to speak a little bit more about our Ukrainian victories on the territory of Russia. But before I continue, I want to answer some comments that subscribers do leave, telling me that you don't have to celebrate explosions on Russian territory, don't you become a Russian orc or something like that. I don't, but you have to understand this is war. And daily all of us are under threat of being killed just because we are Ukrainians. Russia, breaking all international laws, crossed the borders and started killing children, women, destroying our infrastructure, and this happens daily. Just a day ago, they targeted Chernihiv Drama Theater, killing seven people and injuring 156, including a child that died, six-year-old child, totally innocent. Last week, they targeted my city that is considered semi-safe, killing three civilians. So, when you advise us to be totally tolerant, do you understand that this exemplary total tolerance would mean giving up and dying because like Russians don't like you, you have to accept it, don't you oppose and so on. Ukrainian counteroffensive takes place not only on Ukrainian territories and as a citizen, I believe it's impossible to win the war without bringing it on Russian territory. But what I'm proud of is that Ukrainian armed forces do care about um, human perspective of their actions and they never target civilian objects. But we were lucky to destroy, actually totally burn, Russian bomber jet that is capable of carrying strategic nuclear weapons. And this plane was destroyed with the help of drones on the territory of Novgorod region, which is pretty far away. But we are really glad that we've managed to destroy one more machine used to kill Ukrainians and also threatening the world, because once again, this bomber was capable of carrying strategic nuclear weapons and Russians love threatening the world with their nuclear weapons. If you agree that Russia is a terrorist state and you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please do, as this help attract more attention to war in Ukraine and hopefully see Russia defeated. So another minor victory important for Russian spirit uh, was the fact that today on the 21st of August, two of Moscow airports were not working, Vnukovo and Domodedovo, once again, very often during the last months. And the reason for that was a special military operation that they had to announce. And mind, after a year and a half of this war, we have special military operation inside Russia, not only outside Russia. They have given a name of carpet or something like that. And it meant that because of a drone attack on Moscow, it was dangerous for Russian planes to land and um, to fly from two of these Moscow airports. And more than 50 Russian planes could not land and had to choose other airfields in Russia, which once again caused panic, lots of information on social media and perhaps hundreds of dissatisfied people. But you have to understand, when you attack innocent people, when you kill children, there will always be a moment when you have to taste your own medicine and pay for your sins. But of course, you don't have to worry. Ukrainians always care about being normal, not becoming monsters like Russians did. But anyway, no-fly zone about Moscow once again. Two of their airports not capable of accepting flights and a special military operation taking place on Moscow territory, which is beautiful from my Ukrainian perspective. <clears throat> and also there was information on social media that uh, people in Rostov-Don, which is a city close to the borders with Ukraine, and it is used by Russian Federation org troops as a military base and the center of decision-making, 
that people heard really loud explosion and uh, they were panicking. We don't know what was the reason for that. The governor said it was just a supersonic jet, but some claim um, their windows exploded, so it's not likely to be a supersonic jet. But what is more important here is that many, many people who live in Russia on the bordering territories, and these bordering territories are used for the supply of weapons and uh, soldiers, and as um, places for Russian commanders to meet and decide how to kill more Ukrainians. So it's really important that people living on these territories feel more and more threatened because they realize Ukraine is not going to give up and as a result it is fighting back. Honestly, I am very happy. It was really funny to hear President Zelensky speaking in Denmark and he got a question. Uh, would Ukraine be ready to give up territories for NATO membership? And you all know that Zelensky was a really good comedian and he found the perfect answer. He said that, yes, we are ready to get NATO membership by giving up territories, but not Ukrainian, but of Belgorod, Russia, which is a place where you can often hear explosions after the start of Ukrainian counteroffensive. So, uh, guys, uh, I do understand that the majority of you support and share my opinion and I'm very grateful for the community we have on this channel. By the way, if you're not yet subscribed, join our community. But um, I am not like a hater, but I cannot be neutral or positive when um, I can get killed just because I'm Ukrainian and when Russians kill us daily, they destroy everything, they honestly ruined our life and the fact that I'm normal does not mean that my life is normal. I'm just trying to preserve this normalcy because I don't have any other choice. But you have to understand, Russia is an existential threat and it will not just stop. It will not just stop because we are uh, talking good things or we are m organizing meetings or something. It has to be punished and we have to fight back and we have to target military objects even on Russian territories that are used to kill Ukrainian children. Please understand that and don't you demand for from me like this total understanding and the desire to help Russia at the moment when I'm still fighting for my own life. Thank you so much for your support and understanding. Thank you for buying me coffees and becoming my patrons. Subscribe to my Twitter, Instagram threads and join my Discord community. Uh, watch my new interview with Jonathan Fink from Silicon Curtain if you didn't. Uh, all the links that might be interesting, including our merch shop, are below this video. But most importantly, talk about Ukraine persuade people that we still need your support. We are very grateful for these warm meetings that President Zelensky and all of our people receive in your countries. We are grateful for F-16 and I hope soon Russians will hear more explosion on their military targets and hopefully on Kerch Bridge. And so far, thank you so much for all what you are doing. Slava Ukraini!